folks today i'd like to take a casual peek at the assault kingdom ms 6 f zaku 2 action figure set from bandai this particular set is part of uh, the fifth wave of releases and is the 20th uh, overall figure set released through the assault kingdom uh, gashapon like uh, figure sets and uh, this set, uh, I believe, was first released around 2014 and sold anywhere from 500 yen to 1,000 yen or about 5 to 10 uh, US dollars. I can't remember uh, which particular store I purchased this particular set from since I purchased so many of the Zaku 2 sets uh, for army building. Uh, but I do remember purchasing them uh, from Barnes & Noble and uh, certain hobby shops and paid anywhere from seven to ten dollars uh, for the Zaku 2 sets. Taking a closer peek at the uh, Zaku 2 here in the packaging you can see the Assault Kingdom uh, style of packaging here. It's a uh, smallish uh, sized uh, box here uh, that has uh, the Zaku 2 uh, featured uh, prominently uh, on the front of the box and an artist rendition uh, behind the picture of the figure there. You can see that it is uh, release number 20 overall in the uh, Assault Kingdom line. And uh, you can see the uh, designation number uh, MS06F uh, and the uh, mobile suit type uh, Zaku 2 there. Pretty cool. At the top of the box uh, you can see uh, Another picture of uh, the uh, mini figure there. And uh, you can see uh, again the Assault Kingdom logo and the Zaku 2 uh, designation there. On this side, uh, you can see a profile or a silhouette of the uh, Zaku 2. And you have a little stamp here, or print I should say, of a stamp uh, Bandai Shakugan. There, Shakugan. And uh, it, over here it says it stands about 80 uh, millimeters tall, so it's not a very big figure. Uh, 80 millimeters is roughly a little over uh, 3 inches there. On this side you have some print uh, of the uh, Salt Kingdom logo again and some uh, wording in Japanese uh, which I cannot uh, read unfortunately. Uh, there is a sticker here, a uh, gray sticker that says no candy and uh, slash gum included. And that's because uh, this is distributed through uh, Bluefin. And uh, Gashapon like uh, items uh, always include some sort of candy in their, in their items. But uh, I guess some regulation uh, going through the U.S. Uh, they have to remove the candy. And maybe for safety reasons, I'm not sure. Uh, here you have a, a stamp of uh, I believe that's the logo for the original Mobile Suit Gundam show. I could be wrong, but I believe that's uh, the case there. You got some barcoding there. Here on the back of the box, uh, you got some print in Japanese. You got a uh, picture of the Zaku 2 uh, uh, from Assault Kingdom. You have it in various poses. And you have a picture over here where you can army build it, uh, the Zaku 2, and that's because the Zaku 2 is a grunt suit. So uh, they produce uh, many uh, of the Zeon uh, Empire produced uh, many of the Zaku 2s uh, during the One Year War. And uh, here you have other figures uh, in this particular wave, uh, uh, number 5. Uh, from what I remember, I believe it's an Exia repair here. You have the Zaka 2 here, and the O Gundam. I, I, I can't remember if it was O Gundam or not. And then you have a Jagan uh, as the fourth figure in wave number five there. The bottom of the box uh, has some print uh, underneath this sticker here, but the, the sticker itself is basically a uh, Bluefin uh, distribution sticker there. Uh, distrib that's the U.S. distributor of Bondi products there and uh, has some cautions about uh, probably due to the small size of the figure and uh, I don't think uh, yet 
Yeah, it's just uh, typical warnings there. And again, no candy or gum included on that. So uh, we'll be right back and have the contents of this particular set out of the box. Okay, we're back and we have the contents of the uh, Zaku 2 out of the box. And as you can see here, uh, the uh, set is enclosed in this um, uh, plastic bag here. It's, and it's sealed and also slotted. Uh, there's uh, seals uh, sl that produces uh, plastic slots, excuse me, uh, for the uh, kit. And you can see the figure here itself. And uh, in each of the individual slots in the bag here, you have the accessories, uh, weapon accessories, and also the display base accessories and a uh, alternate head here as well as uh, some extra hands so uh, pretty cool I shouldn't say extra hands but a set of hands so uh, very very cool and uh, it's kind of neat that it's sealed here so nothing uh, gets lost but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, slice this open and uh, take a look at um, each of the individual pieces here oops let's see cut that across there let's see if we can Break the seal and uh, dump out all the contents here. Take a closer peek at everything. There we go. And uh, get this guy out of the baggie there. Uh, looks like we got everything out. And uh, I'll just lay these all out here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, figure here as it uh, is out of the bag. Uh, what happened to his foot here? Kind of crooked there. Let me just uh, put that back into place. And uh, we have here a nice looking uh, Zaku 2. Pretty cool, uh, minus some hands here. But it's a very nice figure. And uh, this uh, foot here seems to be uh, stuck a little bit, at least the ankle joint. Let me just see if I can uh, move this around so I can... I don't want to break it, the foot off. There we go. It's a little bit better. And uh, cool, we have the Xeon uh, Grunt mobile suit here. And it's actually uh, pretty neat. Now it uh, stands... Uh, just a little over uh, three inches tall and uh, it's a nice small uh, figure here and uh, it's actually uh, quite detailed for its size uh, on here you can see some sculpting detail on the figure here and it's actually uh, quite nicely done on there and uh, you can actually see some uh, detail on the hoses on both the helmet and uh, on the uh, arms there so it has some uh, nice uh, sculpting detail on it uh, as far as paint detail is concerned uh, it's very little paint detail uh, you do have uh, different shades of uh, green here and also a dark gray and black but there's I don't know how much of it is painted and how much is molded. Uh, you have the red uh, mono eye that's painted there, which is uh, quite cool. But other than that, and the uh, the eye and the, the knee uh, armor there, I think, uh, and the trim of the feet, everything else is just uh, cast in this greenish plastic. Even the skirt is a different uh, shade of green that's uh, not painted there. So. Very little paint detail, and probably paint over here on the chest area. But uh, still, uh, with the minimalist paint, and you don't expect much on a gashapon type of uh, figure, uh, but uh, with uh, the lack of uh, paint detail, uh, it's, it's still understandable, and it's still a, a nice looking figure for a uh, gashapon type figure. So, pretty uh, cool here. Now, um, taking a look at uh, some details here, you can see that uh, the head here has a command antenna, so uh, which is uh, kind of neat. 
Uh, but uh, most the grunt uh, Zaku's uh, really are not are just grunts. They are not uh, command officers or anything. So it's better if if the Zaku had no command antenna. And uh, what's nice is that they provide you an extra head here. So you just pop off this head and put in uh, that head and you have a regular grunt Zaku instead of an uh, officer type of, uh, Zaku there with the command antenna. And this is the one I would prefer here. Uh, of course, uh, I, uh, I've i purchased quite a few of these guys already. Uh, I think I have uh, at least six of these guys so far. So at least one of them will wear a command antenna in my collection and all the others. Uh, We'll just have the regular uh, dome here, uh, which is, I think, more appropriate. So, pretty cool. And you can also see that uh, this Zaku has a shield here uh, for an accessory. And uh, I believe that you can remove that if you want to. Yeah, it's a ball joint on there, so that can be easily removed if you don't want it on there. So, uh, that's kind of neat. And uh, you can see that also the, there are no hands on there because they provide a hand separately on a sprue, uh, which is interesting. Uh, just taking a look at the hands in more detail here. Now let me put the Zaku here on the side. Well, we take a look at the hands. You can see uh, there are different types of hands, a total of five hands it looks like. Two uh, with open palm uh, type hands two with closed fists and uh, a third uh, closed fist but the peg is sort of angled or I should say the hand is sort of uh, angled uh, and I think that's for wielding uh, uh, some of the beam rifles so uh, that's kind of cool and uh, these uh, hands can be easily removed by just twisting uh, along the base of the peg uh, where it's attached to the sprue uh, let's see, we're going to use an open hand for the left hand here. So let's go ahead and twist that one off. Just basically put your fingernail along the groove there. And you can twist it off while squeezing down. And that will easily uh, remove uh, the hand there. And you just plug the hand into the arm of the Zaku. And uh, that's uh, pretty uh, much it. And I'm going to use the angled hand here so he can wield a weapon for the right hand. Let me just go ahead and do that. And uh, let's go ahead and put uh, this one in. This one's a little bit tighter fit on here. So... But it's not too bad. Uh, the plastic um, material used for the hands is sort of a softer type of plastic. So uh, we can just squeeze that in there and we got it in just fine. So that's kind of pretty neat. And uh, also uh, that came separately uh, but bagged together with the figure is the shoulder armor here. And uh, there are pegs on the... Uh, left shoulder there where you can slot the armor in. Let me see if I could do this here. There we go. So now he has his shoulder armor. So he's looking a little bit more complete here. Uh, or pretty much essential, essentially uh, complete as far as uh, the base figure is uh, concerned. So very, very cool uh, looking uh, mobile suit here. One of my more favorite uh, mobile suits, uh, certainly uh, in the top favorites uh, for the Xeonic uh, Empire there. So pretty cool. Uh, now I'll uh, just, just go over some articulation of this uh, figure. Uh, the head is on a ball joint so it can go all the way around and can go up and down side to side uh, slightly so that's kind of cool. Uh, arms at the shoulders can go all the way around and they can go out even with the shoulder armor here uh, because the shoulder armor can swivel on this point so that's uh, kind of cool uh, the arms at the uh, I guess bicep area can uh, go all the way around uh, the elbows do bend uh, quite well for a single joint on there you can see uh, greater than 90 degrees so that's kind of neat 
the hands can go all the way around at the wrist and I believe this uh, figure even has waist articulation which is nice for a figure this size so it can go all the way around at the waist now the legs at the hips can move uh, forward about uh, that much uh, go down and uh, back uh, a little bit as well as uh, out to the side which is nice uh, the skirt uh, doesn't impede too much because it's made of a soft rubberized uh, plastic there so it does give to allow the articulation for the leg so that's kind of cool and now the legs also have a swivel joint at the uh, thigh area upper thigh so that's kind of neat and uh, the knees uh, do bend quite well even with the hose uh, attached uh, on the upper and lower leg so uh, that's uh, very nice and the uh, feet at the ankles ha have very nice articulation in that, uh, that allows the foot to go that much upward which is really nice and uh, go down a bit uh, that much and you can see how that uh, swings on there so which is really cool and there's also uh, there's some very nice pivot on the uh, ankle uh, there so you have some nice uh, ankle pivot there very very cool so for a figure or mini figure of this size the articulation is really s excellent uh, superb uh, again for uh, this size so it's uh, very nice uh, to be able to pose um, a gashapon type figure like this so very very neat on here Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other uh, items included with this Zaku. We have here a Heat Hawk and it has a really excellent uh, detail to it. You can see there. Very, very cool. Uh, of course, it's unpainted. It's just cast in this uh, gray uh, colored plastic. But uh, I just love the detail on this. I don't know if I can get it... Uh, the focus there but it's just very very cool on there you can probably panel line it if you want to and I, I th I'm thinking I might do it I have enough to experiment with but uh, shouldn't be too hard to panel line uh, uh, both the accessories and the figure there are some nice opportunities to panel line this guy but uh, some other items included we have the beam rifle here which is nice uh, you can see the scope here and the uh, ammunition uh, there uh, pretty cool uh, this one here is kind of broken up uh, to allow the hand to fit on there but uh, I think on the beam rifle this part goes all the way to the handle there normally but uh, that's understandable where that's kind of broken there and then you have an area for the second hand to grip on there whoops excuse me get that off screen but uh, it's pretty cool you got that second grip to allow a two-handed action on this uh, beam rifle there pretty nice and then there's one other weapon accessory is this long uh, long uh, barreled uh, beam rifle here and it's actually uh, kind of interesting uh, you got a, a grip here uh, allow two-handed action and the main grip is right there and then you have this peg hole I don't know what that's for but I, I guess you can attach other things onto it if you wanted to so but uh, it's got some nice sculpting detail to it pretty nice and the last set of pieces here are for the display base and what's kinda neat about the uh, Assault Kingdom line uh, the base also acts as sort of a build a figure type of thing uh, from Marvel Legends type of line or the DC Universe uh, Classics uh, Collect and Connect uh, in that um, if you collect all of the figures in a particular way you can build uh, something with the, these pieces and uh, for this particular wave of Assault Kingdom wave number five I believe it's the trailer yeah you can actually build uh, this trailer here 
on there and that's uh, kind of neat so you'd have to get all four figures uh, from wave five to build a trailer and I believe the inspections are inside the box yeah I don't know if you could see it in there but there's print on the inner lining of the box that shows you how to assemble the display base pieces into a trailer which is kind of neat and also instructions on how to build the uh, display base and we're gonna go ahead and do that right now let's go ahead and uh, close this back up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, the pieces for uh, this display base uh, it comes with the main base here which is looks like a part of the trailer you can see uh, some sculpted wheels on there but then you have all of these peg holes and pegs to allow you to join different bases together to form the trailer and also uh, peg holes here to create a display base with these other pieces here you have uh, one column piece here with various uh, peg holes and pegs another uh, column piece there and then you have this uh, hinge like piece here and I believe uh, you just plug uh, one of the columns into the base uh, probably the one with the peg uh, and hinge here and just plug it into one of the holes here uh, which you know what I'll move it to the this one here plug that in like that and you plug uh, the other column there so you have a higher column here and then uh, basically you just plug in the hinged portion there and you have a display base and uh, you can attach the figure here like so and then you have uh, a Zaku 2 in uh, basically a jump mode or uh, uh, in flight or in the air so which is uh, pretty cool on there and then you have the hinge that allows you to position the uh, figure in the various angles in uh, side to side so that's a uh, really kind of neat to have a nice uh, added uh, piece to these uh, to these uh, gashapon type figures and uh, it's just a lot of accessories lots of uh, extra parts extra heads uh, it makes this uh, small figure here worthwhile not to mention the excellent articulation for its size the sculpting detail on here uh, makes for a great uh, gosh upon uh, figure and uh, nice to collect uh, if you're especially if you're into a Gundam uh, nice to have these uh, smaller uh, figures uh, and that you uh, you don't have to assemble as a kit but uh, as a figure itself so it's actually uh, really uh, quite neat and I really love the Assault Kingdom line but uh, this is my casual peek into the Assault Kingdom MS06F uh, Zaku 2 Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.